Good morning, everyone. This is the presentation of Group Four. Our group has four members: Nguyễn Tiến Anh, Đặng Minh Châu, Nguyễn Thu Hà, Nguyễn Hà Ly. The presentation of our group will take about 15 minutes of your time. Please feel free to ask any question below our video. So now let's start with the first part. Our first part will cover the company's key content. Dick's Sporting Goods was founded in 1948 by Dick Stack. The company is a Fortune Top 500 business with stores throughout the U.S. selling fishing and camping supplies. After Stack's retirement in 1948, his son Edward spearheaded the company's growth from a handful of local stores into a sporting goods powerhouse. Now, Dix also run two smaller franchises, its field and stream outdoor goods division and golf galaxy for golfing supplies. Dix was quick to embrace the online channel and has maintained very strong e-commerce sales relative to its competitors in the sporting goods industry. In 2015 showed, Dix increased its e-commerce revenue by 40% since 1910 compared to its competitors 20%. Dix rely on external vendors for its IT and e-commerce needs. The company's primary e-commerce vendor was Abay and its Abay Enterprise suite of e-commerce services. Secondly, about Dix sporting goods problems. Dix overall revenue slump in 2014 and continued to lock in 2015, Dix had grown to a size where its agreement with Abay was costing the company significant revenue. Many bigger businesses like Target or Toys R Us migrate their e-commerce operations away from external vendors and back within the control of the company to avoid these types of expenses. To solve the problems, Dix had come to solutions, which are following suit and formulating a plan to take over its own e-commerce operations by the year 2017. The solutions have its own advantage, which are allow Dix to provide better support for unique omni-channel features such as shipping online orders from physical Dix stores. However, the solutions also have disadvantages. They are integrating legacy system and new system without losing access to information hiring a slew of new employees to manage the system, avoiding implementation delays, cost overruns, outrages, and other delays, and shifting much of its focus to the lower margin online channel with extremely experienced competitors like Amazon Lurking is also a challenge. Okay, now that we understand the key content of the cases, let's move on to the case study analysis. Uh, facing the decision of investing to an e-commerce platform, there are huge benefits and risks. First, let's look at the benefits. Stated in the case, the main benefits would be enable and improve the efficiency in delivery and an ordering process. Uh, a more effective analysis and a more control of the system as well. The statistics indicate big growth of sale in region and in customer spending. We also find additional benefits to that. They are capable of tracking and collecting consumers' buying habits, so it's about collecting data. They are enhancing business transaction of speed and accuracy, yeah, so it's about online shopping, the main goal of online shopping, and they are expanding shopping time from normal working hours to 24 sevens. They are the B 
big, big benefits, but they don't go without any risks. Multiple complications can arise, such as hiring new employees, delays and different costs, uh, and also heavy competitors like Amazon, which established thick barriers that many companies fail to penetrate. Additional to that, difficulty for information securities and additional security costs can be an obstacle. And heavier managing requirements, uh, more speed and more accuracy is in making decisions is basically the problems. So what is this decide to handle this? Uh, the data is very promising in strong growth in the e-commerce platform in 2016 and by, by 2017, the company actually projects the sales to double. But the, uh, the company does not choose to neglect physical stores because Dix believe that it is the main source which drives its customers to the online platform. Thank you for listening and uh, let's move on to the case study answer. Thank you. Now, we move on to the case study answers, the final section of the case analysis. Question 1. Why did Dix decide to leave eBay and take over its own e-commerce operations? The first reason is that the deal with eBay was costing Dick much more money as Dick became more successful on online sale. And because the store was cutting Dick much more money, so Dick had to cut down some of its physical store and change to online selling more. And the final reason is that Dick wanted to customize its web operations to fit the needs of its customers, and in particular to develop an omnichannel business. That's the answer for question one. The second question is, what is Dick's omnichannel strategy? Dick has made plans to convert its physical stores into mini distribution center. One more unique feature is that Dick will fulfill the online orders from local and regional customers from physical stores located nearby the customer. In addition, the stores can also act as a showrooms for the goods and customer could pick up the online orders in nearby store on the same day. Now, let's move to question 3. What are the three steps in Dick's migration to its new website? In the first step, Dick completed development of its own e-commerce platform and began integrating it with their existing system. In the next step, Dick began moving two of its lesser brands, they are Fuel and Stream and Golf Galaxy, to the new platform and continued to develop the new platform. In the final step, Dick moved its primary website, the Dick Sporting Goods, onto the new platform. Final question. What are the primary benefits of Dick's new system? Among the primary benefits are the ability to buy online and pick up in store and the ability to test different pricing and marketing approaches by region. Other benefits include an improved search engine and better analytic capabilities. Moreover, Dix also hopes to achieve higher sales because multi-channel customers spend three times as much as single-channel customers. Finally, the new system allows Dix to speed up the innovation and development cycles of its online and physical store operations. After our presentation, Hope you guys find something useful, especially about how a company takes control of its own e-commerce operations. Have a nice day, everyone.